Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Island Mansion. I'm just putting the slabs on top of the dock here because I forgot for some reason and I don't know why. Our mansion is coming on. Our whole island is really coming on. It's looking absolutely superb. We've started on the interior here. By the way, if you didn't see the video that should have gone out just before this one a couple of hours ago, go check it out. It's a new series, okay? Just plug in my plug in a new series here. So we've got the kitchen in here. Looks absolutely great. I absolutely love the green. It's so reminiscent of real lounges, a uh, uh, real uh, kitchen. I burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> real kitchens <laughs> that these sort of houses have. Today I want to work on the lounge. That's so embarrassing. I want to work in here. This is going to be our lounge area. Okay. I want a lot of. I actually want a lot of seating in here. I don't want just one sofa and a TV. I want to go with. More of like a, a communal lounge. Well, communal is the wrong word because that makes it sound like a hotel. Um, I, uh, like if you had a load of friends over, you want them to be able to all sit every, sit on the seat and not on the floor and stuff like that. If you're having a bit of a party. So I want to have a lot of seats in here. We also want to do the ceiling. So I think I think the ceiling and the lights are going to be the first thing to do. So let's grab some slab. And I want a light. Oh, I've already got oak. Beautiful. I want oak as an edging around the ceiling in here it's always nice to have something around the edge between your wall and your ceiling because it just breaks it up it doesn't have that that like corner look if you look in your house you'll probably find that in so at least some of your rooms you'll have something called coving that goes around mind you it is very old now you might have something at least that goes around and this is a traditional house and in these traditional houses they usually do have something i don't want any beams going through here but we do want lighting again we're going to use beacons because they look so nice and i think we want to go with a gold one gold beacon yeah over the white and as far as the location goes we've got a nice sort of spot here for maybe a four a collection or just the, the two looks better. That's two blocks in from the edge, one block away from either side. So if I do the same thing on here, we can have a single one there. And then in between, that's a lot of lighting. Maybe just that. Maybe just those two. Yeah, that should work. That's enough lighting. It's, it's definitely lit up the, the room enough in here, hasn't it? Let's grab our wand. And for the floor, I want a lighter wood. I think I'm actually going to go with birch wood, which is black wool. So we're going to go with set wool black. And over here. And here. A nice light one, like we were saying. We want. It's always nice to have sort of light and dark sort of together. Uh, but on opposite sides. So we've got like a light floor and then a sort of darker ceiling. Or it works the other way around as well, having a dark floor and a lighter ceiling. Maybe like a dark oak floor with a quartz ceiling would work as well. TV on the wall. Nice big TV. Even though this is a traditional house, we do want to have some some mod cons in here. So I'm going to go for a 3x2 because it's like a nice size. Stairs and slab. I love that type of this type of stand. We can either do this type of stand, which I really like, or we can have a dark oak table and make it sit on that and like go one block bigger, like that, and then slab along the middle. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. If I was going to do that, You'd want an extra block of room to have like a stand below the table. I don't like that. But what if we swap these out for bookshelves, but leave the oops, but leave the end ones. See, that looks all right. That looks OK. That's pretty cool. I'm going to grab some note blocks because what what sound set up isn't complete without a nice surround sound. So we're going to have a nice. I don't know, 5.1. Let's do it in here. And there, and then it's not too far away from the TV. Uh, I should go one block more over if I wanted it to be symmetrical. Like the perfect 5.1 surround. Well, not quite perfect. That one. That one. <laughs> it's not quite perfect because we've got one speaker that's just out. But it's sort of good. Well, at the moment, it's a 4.1. If you want 5.1, we'd need a subwoofer as well. We'll put the subwoofer down there. 
Okay, beautiful. We want a sofa. We've got this perfect little indent here for a nice sofa. And we've got the perfect uh, seats for this. These nice sort of sofa ones. I'm not going to go with the green. I think I want to accent, accent this room with red. So we can either have it like that. And that gives us these type of arms. Or we can curve it around and sort of have the, the arms sort of set out a little bit like that. As like corner ones. Or we could even... Make it go down like that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Maybe a, a lamp there. Yeah, accent it with red. Black and red accents. Yeah, we've got black TV, black stand. Yes, I think that's nice. Okay, but I said I wanted more seats. We're going to put a single seat. Like right there. And we can have like a little coffee table in the middle. Like a piece of glass. White stained glass. Pain. And then like a grey carpet, like a light grey carpet to sit on top. Yeah, no, that works. Or we add another one, add another one like that. Or go the other side and move that chair further out. No, I think I like just the one. I think I like just the one. You can put your, your drink on there, sandwich, popcorn, stuff like that. But then I want more chairs over here. But I don't know if I want to use the sofas or if I want to use an other type of chair. Now, these ones we used in the dining room, they look quite nice. If we are going to use them, I'd rather use this sort of stone one, which sort of accents with that lamppost. We do have black ones as well, but the stone ones, I think, look quite nice. But how do we want to do this? Like, in my house, I've got... In my lounge, I've got two lounges, but in, in one of the lounges, I just have two sofas, two brown sofas, and in the other lounge, I've got, like, five five single chairs, and then, like, three chairs just in the corner, like that, which we then pull out for when we have people come round. Is that the way we want to do it? Just have some chairs in the corner there, and then people just, when, I, when people come round, they just sort of drag a chair out, and they can sort of put them down at the side, you know, be involved with the conversation sort of thing. I think I like that. I think I like that. I think I want a desk in the corner, but with a bookshelf going up. So if we grab a bookshelf, we have a bookshelf that sort of goes up like that. And then we have a desk that goes in here. Now, I think the dark oak is sort of being accented quite well throughout this whole build or throughout this, this room. We're using the sort of dark oak and the stones as accent. So that works. I think that's nice. Flower pop. Flower. We're not going to put any computer or anything in here. This is sort of just a just a lounge. I'm going to put two though. We'll have we'll have it, our own sort of YouTube room for that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't want the sunflower. I want that white one, that daisy one. Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah. Those those two are my favourites to, to go into a flower pot. Mushroom, red mushroom looks nice as well. But those two are my favourite to have like specifically in a flower pot. I want. I think a shelf would be great above there. Shelf. Uh, stone one. Accents, everything else. That's a little bit low. But that's a little bit high. But it does look good. I've got a shelf like that literally in the room that I'm in right now. Like literally about that height above the sofa. I have a shelf. And I have all my games. All my games are stored on there. And then maybe we have like a, tri a triple shelf set up there. I can't fit a painting in there very comfortably, but I can fit some paintings around the side here. What are we going to have in the corner here? Do we want another lamp anywhere? That looks nice. We'll have that one there. What do we want in this corner, though? We've got a sort of space in this corner. I'll tell you what Minecraft really needs is bean bags. Bean bags would be perfect. Like, just like an odd-shaped block for, for a bean bag. Gravel sort of looks sort of like one. Uh, what else can we have, though, in the corner here? Something a little bit different but not too far away from what we what we're sort of going for in this sort of traditional feel i mean a candle we've already got a candle though hmm i'm really unsure it's a very big lounge you see it's a lot of space to cover what have i got in my lounge in my lounge i've got I've got shelves, which I've already got. I've got a cupboard. I've got a fireplace, but we haven't really got the room for a fireplace in this lounge, at least. 
What else have I got in my lounge? Bookshelves. I've got a library in the other lounge. Um, pet pet beds, pet bed, pet bed would work, and maybe a little wolf down on there. Yeah, that, that works in the lounge. Carpet, uh, red, obviously accenting everything else. Let's have a nice big bed like that. Uh, oh no, I remember how we done it last time. Oh no, it's gonna melt though, isn't it? I used uh, snow slabs last time. Uh, and and it sort of looked it looked really really nice. I had it like this Something like that as a little dog bed But I think they'll melt unless only one does only one slab melt But two don't Like I want to get it at a different level so it looks like really comfy for the dog but I think one would melt, but but two doesn't. Now that looks good. That looks like a comfy, fluffy dog bed. I don't think that will melt. Wolf. Wolf. Uh, bone. Wow, he took a lot of bones, man. That was like seven bones he would have taken. There we go. You look comfy. Yeah, perfect. It fills up that space really, really nicely as well. Rug in the middle. Carpet. Uh, I think we're going to go with maybe some red, but mostly, I think, gr the greys. Like, maybe a couple of bits of red in there, but I don't want it to blend in too much with everything else. No, that works. Red looks really, really nice with that. And maybe... Just like a little... No, I'll see about like a mat that sort of transitioned into the next room, but no, I don't think it works. Shelves, though, have some shelves above there or painting. Shelf or painting. Oh, that took away that. Shelf. I don't know. No, no. I think painting would be better there. Painting. Let's grab ourselves a painting. Brilliant. Perfect one. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Yes. Yeah. The blue's quite nice. Nope. Hmm. Just another single. What? What? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's different to that side. That's perfect. So you could have them in here, but it looks a little. Does that look okay? I can't have it up here because the shelf is there. Or do we get that painting, but have it up there? Oh, that one's nice. No, I yeah, no, I think that's better than the shelf. I think that's better than the shelf. That's a really nice looking lounge, though. Do you agree? I agree. I think that's a nice looking lounge. Let's join the two up together now with this area. Um, we don't really have much room for coving. It's a very thin, thin room here. So I think we're going to have to leave the coving for in here. But let's go with a nice oak floor. Set planks. It's just a different color to the lounge. And it's a different colour to the kitchen. So it's sort of like a transition. I'm going to turn my headphones down as well. That's better. I'm not quite deafening myself anymore. Uh, I would like to have... Um, like, not a wardrobe, but like a coat storage in here. Maybe, like, right there would work well. Uh, dark oak stairs. Oh, I've already got them in slabs. To go in like that, like that, like that, like that. Slabs on top, door over the front. Oh no, because the wooden doors aren't wooden anymore, are they? No, they're like a front door because I retextured them. Okay, we'll go up one high then and leave it open. It's like a shoe rack. It's more of a shoe rack than a coat rack, isn't it? Coat rack would be, wouldn't have like bits in the middle. Okay, can I fit a coat rack in? I can fit one in here. Like, how would I do this? Like, um, oak. If I done that one, that one, that one. Then have that. See, that sort of works. It looks pretty decorative. Or, like that. 
slab. And then this could be the coat rail. No, it doesn't look right, does it? Oops. Um, something like that. And that. It's it's almost it's almost good. You know that's I think that's as close as we're gonna get, and then we get some item frames. Put those in there. Get some clothes. What have we got? Like I want like like jacket looking things. That's a helmet. Swap, but I don't want nothing that looks like military stuff. So what have we got in here? Uh. That looks like a good coat. It's a soldier coat, but it looks like a good-looking coat. And that one, tuxedo. Like that. It would be cool if we could, like, make it look like it was sort of hanging from something. Hey, that doesn't look too bad, does it? No, I don't like that. Maybe you guys can, can, can give me some suggestions. Cause I'm not I'm not 100% sold on that. Like it's good to have a place to store your coats, but I don't know if I 100% like it like that. Okay, I want a lamp in one corner and I want a plant in the other corner. Uh, lamps. What color? Black. Do we go with black? Green, black, and red. I think that works out really well. Uh, for a carpet in here, a rug that leads down to the bathroom. We might as well go with just the two greys. Whoops. Like this. Uh, that one. And that one. Nope. <laughs> and like that. Just like a little rug that goes down the, the edge there. Lighting though. We've got enough lighting in this area pretty much. Yeah, it's sort of definitely lit up down there. But we need something down here now to light up. Maybe we go really simple. Grab some glowstone and put the glowstone underneath the carpet there. It'll hide it. Oops, it'll hide it up. Yeah, that works. That works really well. Paintings to go over the edge. Just a single one. Yeah, just a single one. Can't really have one anywhere else. That's a really blank wall. Unless I go with a double painting like that. I think it works. Shelf. Just like one there. I don't want it to feel too cramped. It feels a little bit cramped. But at the end of the day, it does only go to a bathroom. It's cool to see the clothes, the coats in the mirror. No, that works. I think that works out pretty well. It joins them up really nicely together. It's a shame that we haven't really got the room to have any slab. Like, what if I just used spruce, like the same, the same block as the ceiling? Uh, flip those upside down. Maybe have a little bit, oops, have a little bit of a bigger top one. And then that allows us to go along there. <laughs> that, look, that, that looks good. That looks good. Like coat um, or shoes and, I don't know, some other be uh, boots or something. Maybe, no, maybe a different slab. Let's try quartz. Let's try quartz. It'll go nicely with the walls. That one. That one. No, I don't like the quartz either. Oak. The quartz doesn't look good. Usually, quartz goes well with everything. But not in this case. Whoops. Not in this case. That did that didn't look good at all. It's the room is just so small. It's just like a little hallway, which makes it very hard to do anything like this. The oak, I think, is our best shot. That's the one that I like the best out of them all. That's good. Let's join sort of all three rooms up together. What else have we got left to do downstairs, I hear you ask? Well, we've got the kitchen. We've got this bit. We've got the lounge. We then come through to a bit of a sort of foyer area that leads to the um, sort of back garden, back to the path again. 
and we have this end room now i think i want this end room to be a library uh or like a stud not a library like like a study more than anything where we can have that really cool um what, what was it like drafting bench was it bench yeah this one carpentry bench oh no that's not the one Oh, that's cool. It's got like a little vice, hammer and uh, pliers and like blueprints. What was that big thing that we found? That's the carpentry bench. I think it was it was to do with the planes, wasn't it? Yes, this one, drafting table. Yes, look. So you have those in, some bookshelves, some tables. Almost like a workshop almost, isn't it? Maybe that, uh, this carpentry bench, they would look good out in here as well, in the barn. Just like a little vice in there. Yeah, no, it works. It works. That's all we've got time for, though, this episode, I'm afraid, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe to keep up to date with all the other series that we've got going on on the channel, including this one. We shall see you in the next episode.